Hi everyone, Bob Mesocomer here, and welcome to my office. She's just hooked goofy. She's bleeding too. <laughs> Let's get her in the net. Okay. Take a little pressure off of her and get your spreaders and stuff. She just inhaled it again. Didn't just, she? I was moving it. It's, that was the slowest I moved at that time. And it absolutely creamed it. Just really just walking along, coming off that little weed edge. Can't get in there with that. Yeah. Too far in. What's that extractor's for? Get her? Yeah. It's a great tool if you want to save fish. It really is. There you go, big guy. There you go. We're going to get one of these bigger fish yes, out here on top of this thing. You watch. And they're getting bigger as we go. Chunky for a little guy. Nice big fin on it. There you go. Just sit there for a second. Yeah. There's Just what's left of your optimum bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Folks, what we're throwing right now. Adam, if you if you read the latest issue of Musky Hunter magazine, I'll say the latest issue. It's what, the August issue? I guess I don't even know. August, September. August, yeah. September issue of Musky Hunter magazine. I wrote an article about soft plastics and how they're coming into the world of musky fishing. We're up here at Presque Isle. With Adam Johnson. Adam is the one that actually introduced me to the soft plastics with the Castaic. I'm going to show you what a Castaic looks like here. This is what this is what Adam introduced me to uh, late last fall, and uh, we had a lot of fun with it. In fact, is I'm going to show you a fish that uh, John Burns took while we were out working these things late in the year. Nice fish right here from Press Kyle. But as things progress, other things come across your palate, and I had an opportunity to look at a new bait. Let me show you what we're fishing with right now. It's called Optimum's Swim Bait, and this is what we're dealing with right now. We've got a variety of sizes in the boat with us. Very, very minnow-like bait, soft tail. The action is just incredible in the water. Here's a little darker version of it. We've been throwing the chartreuse. We threw the chartreuse. Now, the unfortunate side is I don't have a bunch of these baits with me. We have maybe a dozen, a dozen and a half of these things, and we're going to go through them because they're basically a perishable bait. One or two fish on them, and it's going to be over. But you're catching fish, and that's the key, as long as the fish are eating coming to the net. That's what it's all about. But optimum swim baits. We're going to throw some castaics out here with us. Don't go anywhere. Press Kyle, Adam Johnson. Later, John Burns is going to come in the boat with us. We're going to go to another lake tonight. We're going to work deep structure for big muskies. New book. So I, you know, there's a, there's a, 
good value you can put on a on a couple guys that really like musky fishing. And, yeah. And they come up four or five. Most of yep. our guys come up four or five weekends of the year. Yeah, you get your investment back out. Nice, Johnny. Oh. You still there? Yep. Yeah. Good enough. Stay with her. I'm gonna take us out of depth track, so we're in a drift. You gonna let it, Bob? You can. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll let you handle it. You're the guide. I'm just here having fun. <laughs> Any size, John? Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Yeah, she's pretty fish. Ready for us? Got to go for a second. Yeah, she's pretty fish. You want some tools, guys? Yeah. Leave her right down in the water. We'll grab some. Forty-two. Forty-three, maybe. Nice fish. Now this is a this is basically a typical fish for you guys, right? Uh, a little bigger. A little bigger than typical. I, this is maybe average. That's actually about an average size fish that. Give me that trust. That we've been using. Take it for a while just to get the Come on, get up. Yeah. Not a bad little fish. Nice colors. Now up here, these fish don't have the real vivid bars and stuff that we typically see, like over in Presque Isle Lake. Presque Isle Lake does. Known for the barry fish. Get her back. Big fins. Yeah. On our way to being a, a Cadillac or a Buick. There, on your left, you can almost see it. One of the most magnificent sights on the planet, Lake Athabasca, nestled just below the 60th parallel. Lake Athabasca hasn't changed in nearly a thousand years with its pristine shorelines, pure crystal clear water you can actually drink, and countless fish. Boy has she got fish that is for everyone willing to travel to Other Side River Lodge. From the magnificent world class northern pike that prowl these waters to the oldest and biggest lakers on the globe, Athabasca has it all. Other Side River Lodge caters to the true sportsman seeking an all-American plan guided package with three incredible meals a day and memories you won't find anywhere else. Records have been broken by guests at Other Side River Lodge in the past. You could be next. Book your dream trip of a lifetime to Other Side River Lodge, where fishing dreams do come true. Call Cliff or Stella toll-free at 1-877-922-0957. Well, you know, Bob, you can't always select the fish you want to catch. <laughs> that may be true, Jody, but you can select the lake in which you fish them. Yes, you can. Got that one. All right. Yes, sir. Got that one. All right. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Just move up a little bit. Take it. Yeah, take it. I want to get up a little bit more before I put the sock out. Yeah, just a little bit further up. Folks, what we're going to do is we're going to put out a drift sock. And I'll tell you why, because it's going to allow us to be able to maintain position and control the drift of the boat. We're going to walk, work a little bitty point out here that Adam's got and John are working out here. And we're going to put out a drift sock. Now, that's going to sound a little strange to you because musky fishermen don't typically use drift socks. Well, we do, and I'll show you why here in just a second. You see this right here, this flotation device? That's all we're about right here. Watch. This is drift control sock. It's absolutely fabulous. I'm going to get it out here. Now, you notice I've got a lanyard tied to the boat. I've got a special knot that I have it hooked to the boat with. 
if we get lucky enough and get a fish off this point, all we're going to have to do is take this one little cord right here and pull it. We'll be able to disengage this from the boat. Because of the float that's on it, it'll float away. We'll go back and get it. That's the magic behind it, if it works. What do you say we get one? Let's give it a shot. Let's go. Rock and roll. Why don't you go up there? You go, I'll go to the front. We'll go in the front. John, you ready? I'm ready. You got soft plastics ready? Yep. OK. Let's get one. We're still going to use the trolling motor to move us around, as well as the stock. This way, we'll be able to drift across that. You're going to throw that? Yep. I'll throw this one, all right? You got it. Where's the buoy, guys? Right out in front of us. OK, there's our mark right there. So what we're going to do is we'll work in, and I'll just slowly move the boat that direction. As you can see, our speed's greatly reduced because of that sock out there. We got 20, 30 mile an hour gusts here today. That's blowing big time. But this will hold us down. And if we do get a fish, we should be able to disengage. And I know what you're going to do. You're going to throw back over this direction because you like that edge. <laughs> Adam's kind of like I am, folks. He likes edges. Anytime he can get a bait on an edge, he's a lot happier than just throwing across something. Edges are key ambush spots for muskies. They always relate to an edge, whether it's a vertical edge, a weed edge, or whatever. They always relate to that type of deal. It'd be nice if we can get one so we can you know see how the sock actually deploys and how you can get it away from the boat. You've gotten some pretty good fish out here, haven't you? Got oh yeah. The biggest ones always seem to be right on the end of this point. Uh-huh. That's where the king sits. What do you guys generally throw out here? Never th throwing rubber baits, you know, but I, I'll i mix it up, throw some deep divers, some sinking baits off the point, and then come throw bucktails on top of it. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a fish. Stay with her. Let's get the sock off. It's a blowing. OK, stay with her. John's got the net in the back. Oh, nice fish. Nice yep. fish. Yeah, she's hooked well, too. You want me to net her? Yep. Okay. Bring her back this way, or you want me to get in front of you? Yeah, well, why don't I go on the Theater right off the end. Yeah. Maybe there's another one here. Hold this, I'll pop the hooks out. I got pliers ready. Okay, okay, we'll just go back to you then. Alright. She's in good shape. Careful now, careful. Need some help there, Johnny? No, he's okay. I'll get her. Go ahead and clip him if you have to. Nice hook right in the mouth. Come here, girl. All right, she's unhooked. Okay, let's, grab, let's take a quick look at her and we'll set her back. Good fish. That's pretty, isn't she? Picture with her, Adam? No. All righty. Good job. There we go. <laughs> she says, I'm out of here. Good release. So crawl right behind the motor, huh? <laughs> She's sitting there, ain't she? Uh-huh. Right behind the motor. She's in that draft of the motor. Nice fish, Adam. Really it was right off fish. the tip of that bar out in deep water, just suspended out there. Go ahead, fire us up. Take us right back up to the sock, we'll get it picked up. Okay. As you can see, it's floating up there perfect. Fish is gone, sock's floating. That's what I call a victory. This was right there, right off the end of the buoy. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thought you said you were going to get the next fish. <laughs> it was, it was uh, looking that way, but. Now we're even, John. Boy. We are even. 
Bob's turn. Oh boy. Yeah, after getting broke off, I'd like to catch one. Now this has got a this has got a rope on it that allows you to bail it by grabbing this rope. It turns everything around and you can pick it right back up out of the water. And for us, we're just going to lay it here because we're going to redeploy it. But as you can see, there's our rope. This is the lanyard we had tied to the boat. We're in good shape. Folks, don't go anywhere. Presque Isle. Adam, John, and I are on some muskies, folks. It's bright, sunny skies. It's windy. It's not a musky day, and these guys got them dialed in. You know, Presque Isle, folks, is one of those places, if it's, if it's quiet you want, if it's big fish you want, if it's happy people, Presque Isle's the place to go. Northern Wisconsin. We're not in Canada. We're catching these fish in northern Wisconsin. Presque Isle. <laughs> Coming up next on Simply Fishing, more great angling action. Go to fishinfo.com for your internet connection to the world of fishing. For the source on musky information, click musky411.com. Look at that. Oh, big fish. Big fish! Is that over here? That is a 50 fish. <laughs> Folks, you're seeing it right now. My 100 just came in the net. At Witch Bay Camp. Holy smokes, Rocky. She ate that thing. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the A-Team. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job, the guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10, and we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. I'll drop the trolling motor at him, and they won't put the sock out. Got it tied. With this float, we can let go of it like we did before. Yep. Oops, we need to do that. We'll let that just fill up. We're right on a drift for the buoy. Should be okay. You'll find. It'll get all straightened out there as soon as that starts to fill with water. Grandma's, huh? Now we marked the bar. It's running from our right to our left. What, about a 10 foot top, 11 foot top for memory? Nine, 10 feet on top. This is what we were waiting for, Bob. It should be perfect right now. It. We have fought high skies every day, or wind in high skies. Sock full. See, that thing will slow us right now. We'll creep our way across this. This is primarily, what, a perch forage in here? Yeah. I, on this particular lake, it's not deep enough for ciscos or whitefish or anything. Uh-huh. But it's loaded with perch. Loaded with them, Absolutely huh? loaded with perch. Yeah. Perfect drift speed. We just work our way right across this.
There we go. Nice. Nice fish. Yeah, give me a net. Nice fish, Bob. Nice fish. Fox fi gotta go. Fox gotta go. Okay. It's out of here. Okay. I do not know how it's hooked. It's a nice fish. Yes, it is. You want me up on the deck with you? Nope, hang tight. Okay. Good fish, huh? Nice fish. Nice fish, Bob. Yeah. Whew. One we're looking for. Nice fish. Ready? Coming your way. In Not a ready. second. <laughs> That's a nice fish. It is. Not bad for Presque Isle Lake, huh? Here we go. One time. Not ready. Okay, I'm gonna bring her around. Okay. Coming in. Yep, here we go. Whew, he's ours. <laughs> nice sweat, <Bob. laughs> Nice fat fish. Good job, big guy. We knew where they would be. I mean, we knew it. We saw we this weather coming in. This whole time, we said this is the time. The frontal system's coming in. This yeah. pass, we got That's her. Powerful. I'm telling you, folks, we're gonna get the hooks cut on this fish to get her back. But while we're doing that, remember this: you want a vacation, you want to go to northern Wisconsin, you want to be in some beautiful areas with some great people and some big fish. We're here right now, Presque Isle. Okay, let me get some cutters and stuff, huh? Let's uh, let's go ahead and get her back. Okay. Okay. She's been in this net a long time. You gonna give her a shot at the camera? Yeah. Uh, no. no. Yeah, let's just get her back. Wow, that's a nice fish. <laughs> that's what we came here for, huh? Whew. Good job, Adam. Slide her back. I'm gonna lay right on this rod right here. Okay. There you go. Oh, there you go, baby. That's a nice chunky fish, isn't it? Yes, it? very healthy fish. Nice fish. Yeah, it's got some nice lakes up here. Interesting water, great diversity. Dark water, clear water. You can go where you need to go to get them. That's a pretty fish. We were just talking in five minutes, we can be in less than that, two minutes, we can be in crystal clear water if yep. we need to jump back over here. Pretty fish. How long do you think she is? She is. There she I goes. Put a tape on her. Nah, she, I'm gonna say 45, 46, yep. maybe. Mm -hmm. Right in there. Good solid fish. Yep. She's fat, is what she is. She's chunky. A, she's a nice fat chunky, fish. Chunky, chunky fish. Nice, nice Presque Isle fish right there. And we're on a bunch of lakes. We fished a bunch of lakes. There she goes. That's saying goodbye. That's what you want to see right there. That's why you're working in the water by the side of the boat in the net. Folks, again, thanks for watching Simply Fishing this week. I want to thank Adam, John. I want to thank all the folks here at Presque Isle. There's some great businesses up here, great lodging, great food. It's a beautiful place. It is in God's country. You come up here, you can catch a big fish like that. We're throwing artificial baits. You saw some fish today. You saw fall fish. You saw, you know, mid-season fish like this. Watch us next week because Simply Fishing is going someplace else in God's great country for big, big fish. Again, practice CPR. Catch photo release. Future fishing is in your hands. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again. Someday we'll share the boat together. Again. You got it. See you folks next week. Hi, I'm Bill Foner. And we're Mike and Evan Masercomer. And I'm Bob Masercomer with Landon. We're Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. We will do more than simply keep you afloat. We are performance fishermen selling and servicing. The fishermen who demand performance. Where are we? Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Hey fishermen, come see us at Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Perfect.
Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the 18. Simply call 1-800-222-8775.